Hi everybody, how are you doing? I want to invite you now just to, for me to share this video regarding fear and when we feel our life is being overtaken and overrun by fear. I got a message here from a friend on Facebook and he just said that uh, he, he seems to just live a normal, like ordinary life like most people, but something occurred to him this morning after breakfast. Every single decision I make is motivated by fear. What I eat, where I go, when I meet friends, when I walk down the street, why I don't have that girl I met, why I don't give that girl I met a call, uh, why I, I only do certain things alone that I like, why I can't sometimes go home, why I sometimes don't want to see old friends. From the most simple to the most complex decisions, I just have great difficulty escaping fear. I was wondering if you know what I mean by this, and also, is there anything I could read, somewhere I could go, or something you could recommend for me to change things? I feel mentally fine. I just realized that fear dominates all my choices and has done for years. It's only this very morning that it seems somehow irreversibly realized. Whew. If this is too much for you, he says, no problem, but I just thought I'd give it a try, he says. No, it's definitely not too much for me, Jeepers. That's, 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 no, no, I'm just like, I kind of like, I don't know what to say to this almost. Like, I'm, I'm kind of left speechless. This is such an awesome, amazing realization to have, to suddenly wake up and realize that so much of your life is being driven and run by fear. Wow, that's amazing. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy for, for him. <laughs> I'm so happy for anybody who has this realization that a lot of the things you do is, is, is because of fear. So you're not doing it because you really want to do something. You're not doing it because you're excited and you love something. You're doing it because you're, you're afraid. You're afraid of the consequences of not doing things. And then there's so many things you don't do as well because you're afraid of what might happen. And you do do a lot of things because you're afraid of what will happen if you don't do them with people or anything. So that this is a bit of a... It's a bit of a dull, daydreamy, zombieish way to live. Uh, no offense meant, of course. You're just going through the motions, and you're not really fa living with passion or happy much happiness or joy, really. Not not much inspiration. And that's okay because this is a learning ground here, in Earth. And a ground of fertile creation of what we want to recreate and create, co-create. And, and as we grow and develop and learn and change and grow, we're going to change and choose new things, change change our choices. and <clears throat> So it's good. So this is good. Like, don't, I wouldn't worry about this if you're feeling fearful, if you're feeling anxiety or apprehension about, about things in life. One thing I would do though, okay, is I think we all have the answers really, to be honest. So all I'm doing is gonna suggest a few things to you and I encourage you to find the answers within you, which I'm sure anyone in this situation who's realized this will start doing anyway. And that is that they'll start questioning things in their little quiet moments or any moments in life, walking to work or in, in their bedroom, in the morning or before bed, you might just reflect, think like, why, <laughs> why am I doing, why am I doing all these things? Like, look how they make me feel. I, I don't feel all happy. I'm doing things for silly reasons, like stupid reasons. <laughs> I'm being, sometimes I'm being a people's pleaser because I'm, af I'm afraid of saying no. You know, this is a big part of fear. It's being, you end up being a people's pleaser a lot of the time. You're afraid to say no. You're afraid to follow your truth and to speak your truth. 
you're also afraid to do things um, as well. So you, you miss out on invitations to go places, or you, you like you don't call the girl you're talking to who get who whose number you have because you're afraid of what might happen. You're afraid of being rejected, maybe. You're afraid of being said no to as well. So, so here's the thing: like, ask yourself, why are you possibly why are you afraid of to, to be said no to why are you afraid to be rejected how much of your sense of self worth and self value is tied up with other people's opinions of you so this is what happens when we're overly concerned with other people's opinions society's opinions regarding what you wear, where you go, what, who you spend time with, uh, what job you have, if you're studying, if you're not working. We can have fears regarding how society views us and obviously as well how our family or friends view us. And how our partner views us and how our, our, our parents view us or whatever else, and our workmates view us. So, so ask yourself this, how do you feel when you suppress your truth? When you be a people's pleaser and when you, when you don't do things, how do you feel? Things that you want to do but you don't because you're afraid. You're holding back. You're suppressing yourself. How does it make you feel? So part of this now is about becoming more aware of the link between your emotions and your actions. So how do you feel emotionally when you do things that you want to do? Or sorry, when you do things you don't want to do? How do you feel? And how do you feel also when, when you don't do things that you want to do? So when you don't do things that you want to do, and then you do things that you don't want to do, how do you feel? So it's, it's, you feel it's not nice. And how do you feel when you actually do do things that you, that you like? And when you, when you don't do things that, that you don't like, like going out to meet old friends, let's say, or, or going out to meet somebody, like a party that you don't like or want to go to, like, or a nightclub or whatever. <laughs> it feels good to, to honour your truth, yeah. To honour your true feelings. And that can always be expressed in a nice way. Not a mean way, and not in a fine way. We're all entitled to our own preferences and our own natural tendencies. Our own natural likes and dislikes. Everybody has them. Some people like nature more than others. Some people like basketball. Some people like frisbee. Some people like spaghetti. <laughs> Some people like bread or fruits. Who knows? So it's every, everybody has the different things that they like. And we're all allowed to say no. And we're all allowed to say yes. We're all allowed to say I like this, and we're all allowed to say I don't like this. So, <sighs> if I was in this situation, I'd I'd just spend a little bit of time on my own, you know, and I'd just reflect throughout the days. I I I'd reflect throughout the days. Take note of how I want to change my life. The things that I really am going to start doing and that I want to do, and I'm gonna choose and take take note of the things I'm gonna stop doing that I was doing previously because of fear. So I'm gonna change my life, and uh, <laughs> I know it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable at the beginning, but I know I want to do this, and even though it's uncom uncomfortable, this is part of my growth and expansion. It's part of me being real and truthful and honest. And that not only benefits me, but that, my dear beautiful friend, that benefits everybody. Everybody. You're not tricking anybody. You're not deceiving anybody. You're not wasting other people's time. When you go along and you just don't want to do stuff and you're, you know, you're not a joyful energy. You're not a celebration energy. You're not a happy energy. You're, you know, so, so, so it's lovely when you're truthful. Everybody benefits. Not only does do you benefit, your immediate surroundings and people benefit, but the entire world benefits because we're all connected. Like when 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 five people feel really really happy in a room, or even in in a family or a society, 
the whole family or society of room totally is benefited. It's a knock-on effect. We all influence each other. So the whole world benefits when you or thousands of other people all have a joyful, true energy and a free energy. So it's great. Totally encourage anybody to to blossom and allow themselves to bloom. And it, it just gradually bloom, blossom, the petals open. So just be patient. Give yourself time. Be gentle on yourself. Get practicing and get used to saying no friendly happily and not to, not to being <clears throat> not to be um, walked up, like walked over or given out to or controlled by other people if anybody says anything to you, you can just say well listen like i don't really like this in truthfulness so i like i i don't really want to do it like today but we can do something else or it don't work i don't really want to do this again <laughs> like smoking or taking drugs or who, who knows what it is Going to the coffee shop, going to the lunch shop. And I didn't mean, I'm not trying to pick on coffee. Any place. You're entitled to not like to go to the park, ever. <laughs> You're also entitled to not want to spend any time with somebody. Are they a nice, good quality, positive influence in you? If they're not, why would you particularly want to spend much time with them? Maybe a little bit of their family or whatever else, work. But overall, why would you ever choose to spend time with people who are definitely bringing you down? You want to ask them, encourage them to be upper in their energy. And you likewise try to be a lovely, positive, good, inspiring, uplifting influence on other people as best you can. You know, as best you can. Sometimes we feel down, that's okay. So I'm not talking that sometimes people feel a bit under the weather. But if someone's a constant complainer or giving out or putting you down, they're the type of people you don't want to spend excessive amounts of time with. So, so just follow your heart, follow what, what, make, what brings you joy and happiness. What you feel inspired and excited and enthusiastic about. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. Also know that changing habits takes a bit of time, like I already said. So. Be gentle on yourself and know that when you're expanding your boundaries, sometimes it'll be a bit fear fearful to do this, but that's okay. And you just gotta expand the boundary. It's like, it's like, for example, I had like skinny legs, or skinny, thin, slim, slender, whatever word you wanna use. And when it was sunny, I really wanted to take off my 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 my, my track, to get into shorts, take off my trousers take off my top sometimes and I loved the sun so I really really wanted to do it in, in the seldom Irish sunny weather but if I was too concerned with what other people thought of me about seeing me as being slim then I would have missed out on so much happiness but I decided to keep on taking my getting into shorts anyway maybe walking barefoot sometimes anyway taking my top off like in the park or wherever just anyway even on the streets as long as it wasn't hurting anybody <laughs> and it, it wasn't inappropriate it brought me joy and happiness and that's just fantastic then the next people I meet in, in the day the next people I meet in the day are so much like happier by, by me being so happy and I'm friendlier I'm kinder so it's really important to nurture and look after yourself and to be true to yourself without hurting people and encourage other people to do the same. And if anybody tries to knock you off, you being free and following your loves and passions, if anyone tries to put you down, then, then you can tell them to please don't say this to you and explain to them without, without attacking them, trying to understand them, having them as a friend rather than an enemy. So not to get into an argument with them, but just to explain things to them, much the way much the way we like to explain things to children who don't know any better. You don't attack children who don't know any better. Similarly, that's not the way to do with adults too, who are just big bodied children, often very mis misunderstanding and immature, undeveloped. They're growing, so that's we're all doing this. So attend to heart explain things to people, tell them what you like and don't like, ask them to be free themselves, but, but don't let anybody suppress you, 
put you down. Look for friends and people and places that help you and encourage and inspire you. So for this person here, if, some, if it was me, or let, let's say for this person, he asked me, well, what would I recommend? I would say, you know the answers, but what, 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 what makes you excited? What do you think could be good for you? Could possibly hanging out with more people interested in spirituality and freedom and awareness like I'm talking about help you? So maybe yoga classes possibly, good for your health too. Make new friends possibly. You want to reach out, make new friends. Ask people to like, hey, you're really nice. Like, do you want to meet sometime for a walk in the park tomorrow or something like that? Do you want to walk dogs together or go for a stroll at the pier? Go for a run, lunch, whatever. Um, maybe meditation group possibly. That's very nice. You meet different people, meet nice people there. A chanting group possibly. Possibly, I'm just naming some things. Nature walk, people, I don't know. So, if there's anything you really like, just try and reach out. Maybe you could go to a spiritual event if you want more, like, like, like a more lighter energy to people. But most importantly, look at your own thoughts and your own ego and see where all of this conditioning came from. Why are you so afraid? Why do I think that? Why do I feel that? Just question yourself. Why am I afraid of? Why do I give so much importance to other people's opinions of me? Would you rather be loved all your life, not that you would be, for pretending to be somebody else? Like, would you rather be liked and loved for somebody you're not, or seen for who you are? <laughs> so we want to be who we are, and uh, enjoy life more, and investigate why, why we don't do and say, don't do and don't say things to people, and then why we, we do we do certain things and why we do say certain things to people so, so see if it's out of fear and uh, then just change it like so see the effect of all of your choices and actions okay so it's really all about becoming aware just awareness becoming aware of your your thoughts and conditionings and emotions how they're all related and then becoming reaching out maybe reading a book looking at YouTube videos of spirituality. Uh, um, Esther Hicks slash Abraham. Esther Hicks Abraham. I'll put a video link down below. They're very good, very, very good for following your happiness and your joy in life. I'll put a link for Bashar, following your highest excitement down below. Um, many of my videos are helpful. Um, Eckhart Tolle is very helpful. Understanding your own thoughts and your conditioning and your ego and your programming. And yeah, so so that kind of like that's sort of very hopefully that's that'll be helpful and the the third thing I was gonna mention there is also expanding your comfort zones so that's something you're going to have to do with practice so that, that's that's the three things so becoming more aware reaching out and learning and going places and asking people to be your friend etc and three expanding your comfort zones like that's that's related to practice reaching out so you just got to practice saying no etc and saying yes so thank you for watching much love light and blessings to you and everybody else in the world May you follow your highest light and your highest excitement and, and have a lovely day and until the next time I shall see you. Feel welcome to subscribe for the future videos if you like and to leave any nice comments below and of course you're always welcome to share if you think this could help any, anybody on Facebook or your friends or family. Okay, So talk to you soon, okay? Bye.